and let me put my clothes on. <laughs> let me get dressed. <laughs> Love that very, very much. That is such a cool vibe right there. A total mood. Everyone, thank you so much for coming in for another video. I'm so glad you went with me thrifting. That was a great little thrift store. I'm definitely going back as soon as possible. I picked up this fantastic made in Japan kimono. I never leave them behind. This is a true kimono. I guess you put the cumberland or whatever they call that band, that waistbanded belt that they put through there. It didn't come with any other straps or anything like that but I just could not resist it. The color is amazing. It's kind of a blushy pink. It's got a beautiful print and it's actually a, quite a small size. I believe it will fit someone who wears probably a zero to one or maybe a 12 to 14 year old child could wear that, but it is just so beautiful. They're great sellers. I've sold some for hundreds on eBay. And when my daughter lets me keep them, because she's actually kept the ones that are, can be used as robes and not so much with all the holes, she loves them as well. So they're hard to keep at home. Here's the, the tag that says made in Japan, though it's polyester. That was kind of interesting. This is a beautiful purple top that I bought. I think this one was in the $2 rack. I believe it's Nygaard, the brand Nygaard, Jason or Jordan Nygaard or something like that. I'm not too sure of the quality, but it felt really like a nice piece. I put that beautiful brooch on it. Isn't that a beautiful horse brooch? I rarely see the horse brooches in gold. And I do have a Western theme jacket that I have emblazoned with all kinds of rhinestone and silver sterling silver brooches so that's why i bought that beautiful brooch but i really have taken to wearing the brooches on these cowl necks i think they look fantastic here's another fabulous little setup i think i would definitely wear it with this little top i love that jewelry it's so bold and beautiful yet it looks artistic it looks like something from an art studio. I've seen even people like um, the Wyatts here, the Socialite Wyatts, wear things like this, and I just think they look fantastic. Those are actually shaped like little Pac-Man. Here's a brand you must keep an eye out for if you're a reseller or if you just love good clothing. This is Soft Surroundings. I have found their clothing to be comfortable usually made in natural fabrics like cotton and linen and they're always kind of styled like like the name says soft they're comfortable look at that rich embroidery that is beautifully done and that's 100% cotton or it's cotton linen I forget but it's a fantastically styled piece it's designed rather quite nicely it's got even a nice little slit in the back, and I believe it's slightly longer in the back. I also love that textured fabric that they used all over it. It's just fantastic. Plus, it buttons all the way down. I paired it with another necklace that I picked up that day, and I will show you this jewelry up close in a jewelry haul very soon, coming right after this one, as a matter of fact. Now this necklace I picked up off my mannequin that I keep there with my plants, just to give it a little bit more of a hippie mood, a little boho instead of that abalone sparkle. But uh, I mean, you know, whichever way. Then I even thought, what about this little crazy number that I picked up that day as well? I don't know if I really like it with it. I think it kind of competes with it. What do you think? I can't leave a prom dress behind. They are so fun. They are so collectible. Reselling is where you want to be when you get this one. <laughs> you, I mean, I don't know. If you have daughters and they like to dress up like this, that's fun too. But these are big, big sellers on eBay and Etsy. People actually upcycle them. I saw a, make, a creator on TikTok. She takes them apart and uses the top parts with her jeans and uh, pants and whatnot. They look amazing. Now here's a piece that you might think is kind of contemporary, but look up close. It's not. This is not knit or crochet. It is actually kind of distressed and this is made in the USA so this is either early 80s or late 70s I love again that purple I can't resist it I really like it against my white hair I think it looks really fantastic it just brings color to the face that can get faded out 
wants, um, you know, if you have silvery white hair like I do, or even blondes, I think they can tend to get washed out. They need some deep colors, and I did love that purple very much. I also love those buttons. Now, I put on that great little necklace. I thought it gave it a cute little look, and I love green with purple, so that's kind of why I added the green. Added that same necklace again. I don't know. I may even put some malachite with that. I just love the juxtaposition of those two rich colors, green and purple. What do you think about that? I think I would wear it with a nude shirt underneath it or even another light olive, olive colored green under it. I also love to wear these with my tanks. That's one thing I absolutely adore. Of course, God bless the USA. God bless Ralph Lauren. I absolutely adore him and everything he does. I know I could get money for this, but this is going to be mine. I just cannot. These are like, what, $60 at the stores? And if they are vintage, as I believe this one may be, they can garner even two to three times more than their retail price. Remember that about anything Polo, Ralph Lauren. I told you about that cap I sold for almost, what, $300? So some tips there on reselling. Of course, it doesn't look good with that bib, but I want to wear that bib with something. Then I thought, mm, maybe some pearls, some English pearls, you know, that English look, but no. I think it looks good all by itself. So I went ahead and put that wonderful bib over here. With this little linen top, I love this one. This one was also $2. That polo shirt was $2. Fantastic, fantastic buys that day in that $2 rack. I, You better believe I combed through every single rack that day. Now this is, uh, what is that, Point Sir? But that is actually a J. Crew company. Always look on the side panels as well. The side seams of your blouse will tell you quite a bit including the fabric content and this one told me that it is a j crew company so even though i'd never heard of that and it was a very well designed and well made top it also has a cuffed sleeve and then sort of a banded bottom there as well which i really like it just gives it a little bit more structure and you know when it comes to a woman of a certain age, I think more structure in the body is really a good thing. Either nice and flowy or a lots of structure and not too much shared. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this color. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this fantastic top. This has a gloss. Look at that, Look at that belt. Wait till I show you that belt. Yes, it was from the best little thrift store in Texas that I took you with that I took you with me on. It was fantastic. I could not believe it. Okay, the top is Tahari. It was tagged, I think, $68, something like that, $68. New with tags, beautiful golden, what would you say? Corn, no, sunflower color, amazing. And then it's got a golden sheen on the print. I thought I would pair it either with the belt by itself or then I would bring in the black and gold bracelets that I found that I thought had a real Biba look to them. And please look up Biba so you'll know what I'm talking about. B-I-B-A was a fantastic store in London in the height of the 60s mod era. You must see what I'm talking about when I say Biba. I would not wear it with the belt and the, and the bangles. It would be either or. So I would either go with the bangles and probably just some, some hoops or something and not that black necklace after all this i don't know i just couldn't help but bring out that necklace again i think it's such a fantastic necklace i can't wait to bring that to auction i think someone's going to fall in love with that necklace but i'll probably wear it at least once and that belt oh my gosh my daughter's already coveting it she absolutely loves it for run ren fair she said she'd wear it like that like a little bandolier or something i don't know isn't that insane? That is a genuine amethyst on, on there. The embroidery is super rich as well. Again, I will show you this jewelry in a jewelry haul. So stay tuned for the video coming up right after this one. It's going to showcase all the rest of the jewelry. I bought a bag full of jewelry. They put it in a quaint little dust bag for me. And this one is actually made by Manet. Now, my daughter said, it's Manet. I said, are you sure it's not Monet? She said, it's M-A-N-E-T. So I guess it's Manet, like the famous artist. I don't know. 
but fantastic belt I didn't even try it on it kind of wraps around and then loops and wouldn't it look fantastic with a long sleeve dress as well with some boots I can see it already could not resist Barbie who can resist those fantastic blue eyes it says doll boss it's actually embroidered I think I picked this up for about a dollar or two and of course I'm going to throw it up on eBay or bring it to uh, whatnot or something I think someone will really appreciate it it's quite interesting it's actually not made in the U.S. and the label is in Spanish also the doll boss part is is embroidered there's the label there it says I think it says Puerto Rico or something but it also says cuidado de mi perro which means careful with my dog or something. so I don't know if that's a store they licensed it to or what but that's what it says it's in Spanish I believe there um, I don't know I was just really intrigued by it and I thought it was just so cute because you know Barbie has gotten such a bad rap over the decades she's loved she's detested she's been the um, brunt of jokes and disdain and and then I think she's having a resurgence not only with little girls my granddaughter is absolutely in love with her Barbies and I'm so glad to see it I think it's wonderful play so definitely glad to see Barbie back and not blamed for all of our social ills. <laughs> boom, can we just say boom, bam, wow, Missoni. Missoni for $2. Not Missoni for Target. Don't mistake it for Target. Many people will pick up a Missoni and get very excited and then they'll realize it's Target and not know the difference. And there is a huge difference between what you find designers put out for Target and what is their actual signature lines. This company, M-I-S-S-O-N-I, -S -S Missoni, is an Italian design house that has been around six, since the 60s, I believe. And they are known for their knits. They make incredible knits. The only other Missoni I ever found was a fantastic dress. And I did sell that, I believe, at my auction for, I think I sold it for over $100. It was a beautiful knit dress. But this one is a little shrug. Just take a look at all of the colors in here. Incredible. There's at least, I think I counted about 10 colors in there. Not to mention the designs. Just beautiful. I could not believe it when I found it. I really could not. And then I was so afraid she was going to tell me it was more expensive than it was. But no, I got it for $2. Now, I figured why not put my vintage 70s Pierre Cardin necklace, beaded necklace. That is such a heavy necklace. I could barely put it on the mannequin. I'm trying to show you the hidden clasp there it actually has a hidden clasp that you can't see and there is the signature as well and it's actually a little bit cumbersome to have to hook it but once it's hooked on it won't come off and it just looks fantastic it is interspersed with some brass silver plated beads and it's, it's just a classic look. I thought really it was the only thing that would look nice with that. It would be something black. Then I thought I just recently found some almost citrine colored beads. I thought that would look good with it as well. I'm still not sure what kind of a top I will pair that with. I'm thinking maybe a ballet, a ballet top you know like a tank with um, just some little adjustable spaghetti straps or something either in the black or nude I think that would look great I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it there is the M for Miss Sony now that M stands for Margarita which is the the sister I believe so she does her own iterations for the company and I did google these tops they are every day they're about $300 on eBay I believe it retail they started about 500 and uh, so she does a wonderful job for Miss Sony as well again not for Target here's a wonderful top I looked at this and I thought that is just so pretty I don't care if I wear that to bed it is such a luxurious top it has kind of a satin or silky bottom but look at that scallop neckline can you believe that it looks like it came out of a piping 
for cookies or something. What do you call those things? The little piping machines? That's exactly what it reminds me of. A birthday cake or something. It's so pretty. It's that wonderful, I guess, cream color. That's another color I would pair with that Missoni. I love that. And it is super long. Again, tunic length. So I could wear that to bed. It's just incredible. I really was so impressed with the clothing in that thrift store. There was a sheer little bottom part there, kind of satiny, kind of silk. I believe it was all, it's not poly. I believe it was silk or cotton. And then just that little panel there. Look at the way it drapes in the back too. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost too pretty for me. I'm going to have to sell it. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I could just look so, so beautiful <laughs> hanging on the mannequin. It needs someone with with uh, no rolls. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. And believe me, I'm speaking of myself. But when I wear something pretty like this, honestly, it does elevate my mood. So we'll see how it fits. If not, we'll let some lucky gal over on eBay pick it up or at my auction. There is the brand there. It's or Origami by Vivian, I believe. Now, I had to look that up because I thought for a minute maybe it was one of Vivian Westwood's iterations, but because I'm obsessed with Vivian Westwood, I just found some wonderful shoes by her. But uh, no, I think it's just another brand. It's a pretty me uh, me middle of the road brand. Okay, I brought out the Malachite. All these necklaces were hanging on my wire mannequin that sits there with all my plants but i wanted to show you what i do with scarves big scarves long rectangular scarves that are uh well that one's kind of a gauzy material so it's a nice thick fabric so what i've been doing lately and i did see another designer do this and she actually brought it to the forefront oh i don't know the 70s and then everybody copied it and actually did it in in you know in the in the runways and that was to make them into skirts so she was like why should i sew all i have to do is get this wonderful fabric maybe do a raw edge maybe you know shear it with some pinking shears or something wrap it around either just put it toga style or i added a little brooch and i have actually worn this out in public to school and it looked great it really did not that particular scarf but another scarf that i have that's knit and it's just fantastic here is rag and bone rag and bone such a crazy name isn't it but it's a very high dollar um, brand you'll find it at nordstrom and other fine stores this is 100 percent silk i absolutely loved it now this was right after I was I just thrifted at this I believe at another thrift store I didn't get this at the little thrift store but I wanted to show it to you because I had never shown it before and I believe I got this at Texas thrift for about five dollars but I had just gotten off watching Downton Abbey and I love the what did they call them dress coats I believe they call them or evening coats so I really love that look I think it's such a structured look this is again silk and it is lined and it's the most beautiful color it's like a blush pink now I did notice that some of those buttons were loose and one of them did fall off uh, when I put it at when I hung it up it actually did fall off and there it is I put it in the pocket I have to sew it I have to find that black thread pull out that needle and um, hone those sewing skills again but I adore it I think it's so pretty open like that over some leggings and again that ballerina tank on the bottom I think would look nice too and it's actually hidden buttons so you won't even see those buttons if I forget to sew it on <laughs> but again that color is amazing also you can see that the black lining is is got kind of a hem at the bottom so you can see the the hem it, it actually shows through it's gorgeous it has a button in the back really nice loose fitting and of course we're thinking how do you iron that i steamed it i steamed it right before i showed it to you it was actually a wrinkle from being in the bag but silk if you don't let it get too bubbly of course always test your steamer first if it's bubbling on you be very careful with it and always clean that steam water I mean, change it constantly. Don't leave it in the steamer. But that's what I did. I just steamed it up. 
and I think it looks absolutely great. I can't wait to wear that. I'm hoping it fits me. I have not even tried it on, honestly. Some of these things I pick up at these incredible prices, and I'm a reseller as well, so I don't worry too much if it doesn't fit. I know I can sell it. I liked it with the big over-the-top oversized pearls. What do you think about that? There's this little smock top for a child. I'm selling that on eBay as well. Those smock tops do really well. Don't forget to list those. There it is there. I just steamed that one too. <laughs> that is money on eBay. People love that English look. All right, so don't you love that? I think that looks really good. But I'm still thinking I kind of like draping. I think I want to drape something. So I brought out that fantastic cord necklace i call it a cord necklace some people call it lariat what do you call it <laughs> i don't know i think i've heard it referred to as cords those are genuine pearls on there i actually took this to an auction and it didn't sell but that's okay because i'm falling more and more in love with it and i think i would do that with even more pearls i think i would put in some more pearls and maybe some crystals but look at how the fun you can have with these necklaces if you run across them pick them up they are so fun i've had a few of these i even had one of these in mesh amazing mesh i believe it was even whiting and davis mesh by the way if you're enjoying the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i almost forgot about these two these are fantastic these are 100 percent linen they are by a great brand, International Concepts. I did go up to a 12 in these. Normally, I can wear some 8s and mostly 10s, but I really do like the feeling of bigger clothes on me, especially when it's something like a drawstring here. I hate, I hate elasticized waistbands. They always bother me. It does not have any kind of pleats, which always adds a little extra it always kind of accentuates the tummy there and i love this long seam as well now these were really long i had to cut them cut them down i would say two inches they were too long we hemmed them up i think i did a pretty good job of that yeah no telltale signs of the stitch i have not laundered them again to kind of get them to be pressed on the hem and everything i just i'm anxious to wear them they fit like an absolute glove and really love those. So those were thrifted as well. I think these were only seven dollars. Very and nice little kind of low-key pockets in the back as well. Fantastic. And then I'm going to wear them with this other thrifted item. This fabulous free people. Now I told you I was in my eccentric old lady phase. And that is very, very true. I'm also in a magnolia pearl phase. I know their site is outrageous. I know it has some very interesting items that you may find scratch, find yourself scratching your head over. But they also have a really cool aesthetic that I really like. And one of them is this kind of worn, lived-in look. Look at these beautiful Madra prints. This is like a crinkly gauze. 100% cotton, very nice. It's also a pretty long puff sleeve and it even has a button. So if that bothers you, that can be unbuttoned as I'm wearing it. And again, that's Free People if you've never heard of it. It's a very pricey brand. I honestly wish they would make more items in, in natural fabrics. They do a lot of polyester, which I really can't stand. Look at that wonderful smocking and they even did a really nice V. Now this is either my baby doll, if I'm not looking like a Polynesian grandma that lost her way, I'm into my baby doll phase, hippie or something, Austin, Texas, where it's even got pockets. I mean, what more could you ask for? Now on a normal person, that's maybe uh, under 20 that would be a dress i'm wearing it with leggings or with those linen pants today i did wear them with some very short just below the knee shorts the other day they were really cute i also found this fabulous western shirt other magnolia pearl aesthetic is the western shirt i wore this the other day when i interviewed kirsten and um, i love it this is actually a wrangler shirt it is a vintage shirt 
and it's very well made. It's got lyrics in it. It's um, it's a large. It's a large, which I'm not sure. My husband said it was a man's shirt. I'm not sure. But it fit me perfect. Now, what Magnolia Pearl does is they distress it a bit. They add a little embroidery here and there. Or they put some stamp artwork on it. I may do that later. I'm not sure. But for now, I really liked it because of the sparkle lyrics. And Western shirts are classic. I mean, everyone from Temple Grandin to Steven Spielberg can wear a Western shirt and look absolutely fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know which were your favorite. How would you style them? I hope you enjoyed the preview of the jewelry. Come back and see it up close and personal. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so today and give this video a thumbs up. See you soon. Bye-bye.